Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I am so, so, so excited for today. I have been waiting for this moment since they announced this game pack, but we are doing a Realm of Magic Let's Play today. I'm really excited to show you guys the characters I made as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I hope you guys like them too. If you're new here, hi, my name is Savannah. Welcome to my channel. I do a lot of Let's Plays. I have a bunch going on on my channel right now. So if you want to subscribe, that would be just freaking amazing. And I would love you forever. On that note, thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers. Love you so much. I'm so grateful for you. And also, <laughs> I'm on my new gaming PC right now. This is the first time I'm going to be filming on it. So hopefully things go smoothly. I'm really, really excited to see like what the difference is between my Mac which gave me a lot of issues and this new beast of a gaming PC. I'm so excited. So yeah, enough rambling. Let's get on with this pack exploration. I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is Fiona. She's going to be our good witch. She's going to be practicing all of the good magic in this pack. From what I know, there are four schools of magic or like types of magic. There's mischief, there's alchemy, there's practical and untamed. So for her, I'm thinking we're gonna be doing untamed and alchemy. Her aspiration is purveyor of potions. She's also cheerful, a perfectionist, and she's good. I really want her to kind of be like this like goody two shoes type of sim, almost like annoyingly good, you know what I mean? So let me show you her outfits. Uh, this is her first one. She's very um, angelic, very like white, pink, just like very um, like fairy-like. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, these are her outfits. This dress though, like holy crap. Holy crap, is this not just like perfect? I absolutely love it. So yeah, these are her other outfits. This dress too is so beautiful. There you go, that's Fiona. And then this is her sister, Flynn. Flynn is her younger sister. She is like the complete opposite of Fiona. She's going to be doing the spell cast, spellcraft and sorcery aspiration. She is evil, she's a genius, and she hates children. <laughs> These are her outfits. I love that one. It's very witchy, very, very witchy. So yeah, very black, very dark but still awesome. Here's her formal wear, her athletic, her sleep, her party wear, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, so yeah, those are the two sisters. I'll give you a little backstory about their family. They have a mom and a dad. Their mom's name is Ophelia and their dad's name is Avery. Ophelia is also a magic type of person. She has those magic genes and she passed them down to her two daughters while they're dad avery does not have anything magic about him at all so the two daughters here got their magic from their mom for sure their mom is a potions master she has level 10 gardening skill she loves to garden she gardens um ingredients for her potions and that is her life she loves to do that and um, just experiment in her greenhouse their dad is a he's a natural scientist he loves archaeology. He loves old ancient things. He likes cave dwelling, finding old things to study, and just... And he's very smart. He's a genius. Um, so yeah, I'll introduce you, you guys to their parents later. But he has nothing magic about him, and he is completely okay with that, but he is very excited for his daughters to... Um, to start their magical journey. So yeah, that is just a little bit of backstory. Uh, they live in Brindle Brindleton Bay and I moved them into the starter home in the new world called Glimmerbrook. It's such a beautiful world. I absolutely love the colors. I love the trees. I just love everything about it. I love how um, sparse it is. Like, there's not a lot of people, but there's, like, a lot of nature. So, yeah. This is the starter home that you can move into. I changed the uh, exterior a little bit. I love this stained glass door. I think it's so awesome. 
So yeah, and then I also redid the house a little tiny bit. I used a lot of the stuff from the new pack, like these couches, the shower, the counter, the toilet, these two beds. They're sharing a room for now just because we don't have that much money. Their parents have a decent amount of money. They live in a pretty big house. So they, they gave them some money to start off with. So yeah, they're sharing a room for now. These beds are from the new pack. This is from the new pack. Pretty much everything in this room is. <sighs> I absolutely love this mirror. It's beautiful. And then this is the kitchen. Um, we've got some starter plants, magical plants here. We've got a cauldron. Before I started this Let's Play, I took them to the realm already and I got them to be... Uh, I got them to do their magic thing already. It's kind of hard to explain. So you have to find the mage, or they're called sages in this one. You have to find them and you have to ask them to turn you into a magical person. But we're just going to pretend that these two ha are our magic just because their mom is. So their mom passed down that magical gene to them. So they've already been magical people. So now they're just kind of training to be better at magic, be better witches, I guess. Just in case, if you're wondering how to do it, you have to travel to the realm, find one of the, the sages. They have like symbols above their heads, depending on what school of magic they, uh, they, are, they specialize in. And then they will, you just follow the instructions and they will turn you into a magic sim. And that's that, it's pretty easy. So yeah, I just wanted to introduce to you guys to them first. So. Um, just a reminder, Fiona is our potions master, and Flynn is going to be our spellcaster um, person. Fiona wants to reach spellcaster rank 2, own a cauldron, and know three different potions. And then Flynn wants to become a spellcaster, travel to the magic realm, and learn a spell. So look at their like need bar. It is so freaking awesome. I love how detailed this is. I think it's really, really cool. You got this bar that you gotta fill up before you can get talent points and then you can like spend the points on different things. Then you have a spell book, <laughs> which I think is really awesome. It shows you the progress that you have for every type of magic or the schools of magic. So practical magic and alchemy, that's going to be Fiona. And then Miss Flynn here is going to be mischief and untamed magic. So these symbols here will be above the experts' heads in the realm of magic, and they will teach you about your different schools. So yeah, like look at all these spells that you can learn. Um, this is practical magic, so you can like repair, clean, um, cook, garden, all that type of stuff. Over here in Mischief Magic, I don't really know what any of this is, but I think it's really cool. Infatuate, I'm guessing it's like a love potion. Untamed, like start fires, electrocute someone. You can kill someone, I'm guessing, and then you can bring them back to life. Decursify, freeze. I don't know. I just think this is all really, really awesome. And then here are all the different potions that you can learn. So yeah, that's the spell book. Um, I'm really, really excited to um, make them into expert witches. I cannot wait. So yeah, I'm going to invite over the parents so you guys can see them. They are super, super, super cute. I'm so obsessed with them. This is Ophelia right here. She is our cute little um, magic gardener. I absolutely love her. I think she's so cute. I really want to show you guys her... Um, her, let's see, how do you ask, just ask to see outfit, ask to see her everyday. I think her everyday wear is so adorable. This is Avery, he is our archeologist, he's a genius. He, he's a bookworm and he's paranoid. Okay, yeah, this is her outfit. Isn't she just so cute? I love her. <laughs> And Avery, or uh, she is vegetarian, family oriented, and she loves the art, art, outdoors. She loves the outdoors. So yeah, that's their parents. I'm excited to have them in this Let's Play as well to invite them over for just random little things. So I'm just gonna get Miss Fiona here to open this seed packet so that she can start planting some things. 
So there's a part of the magical realm that I'll show you guys, but you can buy things like familiars, you can buy potion ingredients, you can buy a broom, you can buy to um, um, a wand, you can buy books and things like that. So I already went there and I got them a broom. This is just a classic wood broom. It's the only broom that was available at the moment. I already got them wands. So this is the wand of the Sylvan Forest. Always use wands. Set wand as favorite wand, name. I'm gonna say always use wands. I'm not really sure what that means. I got Flynn the bone wand. So we're gonna do always use wands. And she has the familiar orb of the snub nosed leaf bat. I'm not really sure what this does. Bind familiar. A classic spellcaster companion, bats have commonly been closely associated to magic users since times of ancient. Name your familiar. Okay, so her familiar is a bat. Um, hmm. What should we name her bat? I'm naming it Shikaka. If you guys have seen Ace Ventura Pet Detective, no, Ace Ventura When Nature Calls, you will understand. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to do her familiar as well. This is a voodoo doll. So, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna name it Juju. Okay, all right. So I'm not really sure what that does. Uh, I guess it's just like part of us now because it like is not in our inventory anymore. Also, when you become magic, you get one of these things. It's called a glimmer stone, and you can travel to the magic realm. Uh, I thought you could whenever, but I guess you can only do it like once in a while because it needs time to recharge. So I'm just going to get her to, let's see. Let's see. What do we want to do here? She's got, oh, she opened the magic plant seed, which was the packet. <sighs> Valerian root and mandrake. Okay, I kind of want to plant these inside just because I want them to be in season like all the time. So there's a mandrake and valerian root. Okay. All right, girly, come and plant these. And so with this cauldron, you can cook mac and cheese, which I think is absolutely hilarious. You can experiment and you can brew potions if you know like potion, uh, what are they called? Like recipes? Okay, there's something wrong with him. Uh, they're doing that thing again where they think that he's naked or something. I don't know, but it's really annoying because they keep going like this, like they're embarrassed. 101 tricks you can teach your familiar. Ooh, let's study that, that's really cool. Maybe that will help her with her familiar because I have no idea what to do with that thing. I'm just going to get them to go to bed and then in the morning we can go explore the magic realm because you guys haven't seen it yet. And look, it's the first snow. <laughs> oh man, okay. All right, their moods are up. So the little portal thing is straight over here. So all you have to do is click it, travel to the magic realm with Flynn and that's that. The swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? Hell yeah! Are you kidding? <laughs> Alright, so here's the magic realm. And of course Mortimer is here. So obviously it's gorgeous. It's freaking insane. I'm so, so, so obsessed with it. So basically there's this like main island here where like the school is, where you can like learn and talk to people and all that kind of stuff. Straight back here is called the Dueling Island or the Dueling Realm or something like that. So basically you duel with other Sims here. This one right here is called the gar Gardens. <laughs> I have yet to figure out the purpose of this because you can't go in this building at all. There's just like an area where you can fish and there's a couple of plants that you can harvest, but that's pretty much it. And there's also this snake that slithers across the floor. It's pretty funny. And then over here we have the marketplace, kind of like Diagon Alley. So you can get your 
tomes, you can get a wand, all that kind of stuff here. Here you can get brooms and crystals, and then this last one you can get uh, potion ingredients. That's that. So what I'm going to get them to do is come in here and just start experimenting because this can get their like little uh, magic bar up. So this is what I was talking about, <laughs> about the symbols above certain people's heads. So this guy, he's going to be the Sage of Practical Magic. All I had to do was introduce myself to him, ask him how to use magic, and he like took me from there. What does she do? Near misery, evil sims greatly enjoy enjoy reveling in the misery of others. Oh my, okay. This guy, he is the sage of untamed magic. He is my favorite. He is so cute. And I was thinking of getting Fiona with him, but I'm not sure. Does he seem like someone who would go for like a goody two-shoes type? Or does he seem like he would go for some one who's like badass and evil like miss flynn here oh he was just looking at one of them couldn't tell who it was though <laughs> but yeah i don't know i'm just really obsessed with these two they're so cool looking like they really are definitely opposites let me know who your favorite is Oh. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you just like talk to, um, you can talk to each of the person uh, um, with the school of magic that you're interested in. So since homegirl here is interested in practical magic, I'm just going to get her to get to know this guy. Because you have to get to know him to in order for him to like share his secrets with you, which is obvious. This is uh, very common in the sims for stuff like that to happen okay and i'm gonna get you homegirl to come talk to mr untamed up here i'm obsessed with him i love him i love him a lot give him a friendly introduction i'm gonna follow her because this is spicy and interesting hi my name is flynn I'm really interested in untamed magic. I was wondering if you would be willing to help me. Look who came up here to say what's up. She has a pretty good relationship with him already. His name is Morgan. Um, they chatted a little bit, so she knows him a little bit. Ooh, you need to be talking to this guy over here. I know he's not like the best person ever. He's not like the cutest person ever, but that's who you need to be talking to. Oh no, where did he go? Oh, he's out here doing something. Well, something that I noticed about this area is that Sims will just like get books out and leave them everywhere. Like they are littered everywhere around this place. This is such a cute spot. Why are you angry? Oh shoot. Oh, is he a good Sim? Uh oh, that's not gonna work. Is he good? Hmm. That's weird. Let's see. Let's, um... I asked to teach potion recipe. Um... Asked to teach untamed magic. Let's see if he'll teach us. Okay, so she... Flynn has been taught a new potion recipe and has been given a sample. Potion of plentiful needs. Okay. How about that untamed magic, though? Ooh, did he- Ooh, Flynn has discovered a new spell, Zip Zap. Wait, so he- he taught her a spell? Which spell? What is this? Harness electrical energy and give something a jolt? What the heck does that do? What is Rite of Dissolution? Let's give it a try. I have no idea. We're never gonna know unless we try. <laughs> what is it? What's it? Oh! Are you sure you don't want to be a spellcaster anymore? No, no, no. That's definitely not- no. Benorba Kb Sima. 
He's ambitious. Okay, what's his last trait? Bookworm. Okay, he's not a good sim. Huh. I wonder why she felt tense around him. Alright, girly, what are you up to? You're just playing a game on your phone? That's not what you're supposed to be doing? I need you to keep working on your... Ooh, you can brew a potion? We need turquoise and valerian root. Oh my, okay. Ooh, what's downstairs? Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, this chick right here, this is the mischief one, I believe. So... Yeah, you can use the bathroom, that's fine. But after that, I need you to come get to know her. I may or may not give all of these people makeovers, like Alpha CC makeovers. I don't know what it is, but her eyeshadow just ain't doing it for me, y'all. It doesn't suit her eye shape. <laughs> so what is this thing? It's just a table. Okay, boring. We've got a mirror. We've got bookcases. I didn't know you could practice dancing in the mirror. That's pretty cool. Arogava. What's good, girl? Are we friends with her already? Her name is just L. She's mean, and she's genius. Okay, I think we're gonna get along with her really well. Um, so I'm gonna... Oh, look who came to join the conversation. He just can't stay away, can he? Even though he's looking at this girl. Are you in love with her? Not for long! <laughs> Alright, let's get her asked to teach mischief magic. Oh, there he goes. He he averted his gaze to us and then back to her. Hmm. Stop looking at her. We're over here. Hello? They're both looking at her like they're in love with her. Can you teach us mischief magic, please? Oh, she's doing it! Nice. What did we learn? What did we learn? Del deliriate. Deliriate? Deliriate. Let's see. Reach into a sim's head and scramble their thoughts? Let's give it a try on Mitchell here. Alright, let's give it a try. Um, magic, spells, del del deliriate. It makes you delirious? Oh! He's dazed! That's it? Okay, it just changes his mood. Okay. Very interesting. What is this familiar? <gasps> Orb of the dragon? You need a dragon. Regal and powerful, this dragon should never be discounted based on its size. It is a formidable foe as well as a cherished companion. <gasps> Ooh, I love me some dragons, you guys. Absolutely love. She had Shikaka the bat, and now she's gonna have... Let's call it Pebble. Pebble the dragon. <laughs> I still don't know what the heck the familiars do, because they're not in our inventory. Hey, we have a point. Ooh. All right, let's see. Knowledge is magic. Sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. Blender arm, potion crafting speed significantly increased. Discharge, the sim can now cast discharge, which empties spellcaster charge. Ooh. Is that like when you duel? Incredible forager, the sim now receives more items when harvesting. Experimenter, when experimenting and practicing, sim gains experience faster with less failures. Hmm. Let's do, let's do the knowledge is magic one for now. I think that will be the most beneficial. Do you have one? You do. <gasps> Yay. Should we do the blender arm or forager or experimenter? Let's give her the experimenter one because she seems to be experimenting a lot. 
You're gonna serve some grilled cheese? That's very sweet of you. Please don't start a fire. Like, I'm begging you, just don't. So you don't, you have like no cooking skill. Maybe you shouldn't do that, I don't know, I'm scared. Oh. Oh, she did it! <gasps> I can't believe she did it. Wow, good on you, love. You cooked grilled cheese with no cooking skill successfully. I am very proud. <laughs> Where's our boyfriend at? Ask to teach practical magic. Okay, let's get her to do that. I don't think we've done that yet for her. So let's get it, Fiona. I'm pretty sure we know this guy enough. I don't know if I'm a fan of this walk. I think I might just give her a normal walk. <laughs> oh, thank you. Fiona has discovered a new spell, Scrubberoo. What is a Scrubberoo? Make something or someone squeaky clean. <gasps> that is so freaking clutch. Oh my god, yes. So how often can we ask? Come back later. Can I have a... Ask for magical training. Ooh. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> no shy. Nice. All right, she's getting her training on. What are you doing? Wait, no, don't go home. Is there something that you can be doing? Where's our man's at? Is he not here anymore? Oh, here he is. Up here, all alone. Come say what's up to him. We didn't even ask him if he was single. She didn't even say anything to him. She just came up here and sat down with a book. <laughs> All right. Why don't you, uh, let's see. Let's ask him if he's single. I don't even know if he's going to like us because we're evil. Who knows? Who knows? Will you go away? See what I mean about the books? They just like leave them everywhere. Wait, so are you single? He keeps walking away from us. Oh, yep, he is. I don't think he likes us that much. Oh? <gasps> he likes it, guys! Let's exchange numbers, and then let's do some embracing. And then let's ask for magical training. He doesn't look too happy about us. <gasps> is he gonna kiss his phone? Yes, queen! Yes! Aww! How cute! I love them together. Nice. Get it, girl. Is he training you? Okay, yeah, he is. And your relationship is going up. That's amazing. So what do you want to do now? Reach scale pastor, spell caster rank two, no three different spells. Are you still getting trained over here? No, you're just having a grilled cheese. I think it's really cool that they can come here and not really have to worry about their needs. They like, they have food, they have like benches to nap on if needed. Um, there's a bathroom, there's plenty of people around. So yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Where is the potions uh, person? Or is there not one? I think there's only like a person for mischief, untamed, and practical, and then the potion stuff you have to learn on your own. She wants to know three different potions. Ask to teach potion recipe. Okay, let's give that a shot. Because she wants to know another potion. All right, uh, so we now have, let's see, 
Potion of good fortune and potion of plentiful needs. A potion to find helpful items while doing everyday activities. Okay. A potion to fulfill all of this all of a sim's needs. Wow. All you need is an apple. Can you imagine having like magical powers in the Hunter Baby Challenge? That would make it so easy. And look, she's brewing her first potion because all you need is an apple. What's with the giant spoon? <laughs> it's just apple in water, my love. What could smell so good, honestly? Wow, it takes a really long time. Ooh, you can help her? Help with potion brew. Oh my gosh, I wonder if that makes it go like a lot faster. Because Fiona is so tense, Flynn is just thriving because she loves being near misery. That's so hilarious. I don't think I've ever like played with a sim that has an evil trait before. So that's fun. Ooh! Failed! Oh no! Oh no! They all fainted! What the heck? Fiona failed to craft their potion, but not all is lost. They were able to bottle up one potion of questionable contents. Ensures the next potion your sim crafts is a guaranteed success. Minor side effects may include dot dot dot. Y'all good? Okay, I'm gonna get them to go home to work on their needs. <laughs> that was so funny. I can't believe that happened. Everyone around just like collapsed. All right, love. Why don't you go ahead, use the bathroom, head to sleep. What about you, dear? You also need the bathroom and some sleeps. Look, I heard you became friends with Morgan Ember. He's pretty cool. I wonder if mom knew him for when when she had her magical training. Guys, look who's calling, look who's calling, look who's calling. Do you wanna go on a date? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I originally thought he could be Fiona's boyfriend, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of like her with him. I love the eyeliner. Caleb, you're a mixologist? I'm gonna get her to order some, ooh, french fries. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Come and sit together. You know, I have to say, my game is running way smoother. Like, way smoother. What were his traits again? Outgoing, bookworm, ambitious. I wonder what happens if we zip zap someone. It's so nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. Aww. How sweet is that? They're getting along like super, super well. Her first date. When I think about her and Fiona, I kind of feel like Flynn is younger. I want to say Fiona's maybe like 20, 26. And Flynn is like maybe 22. They've got like a couple years difference. All right, I want to zip zap someone. I'm gonna zip zap Paolo. I'm really like curious to see what happens. I wonder if they get like energized or something. Let's see. Let's see here, uh, spells, zip zap. Get him, girl. Okay. So, he's just dazed. What the heck? That's so boring. Look, he's just watching us. Oh! Oh! 
Did he die? He's not gonna die, is he? Oh my gosh, I think he likes us. Look at the way he's looking. Or maybe that's just because he's dazed. <laughs> well, that was not a nice time. I'll call you, maybe? Why don't we go somewhere a little more... What's that? Oh, they're just birds. I thought it was a bunny or something. Um, this is beautiful over here. No, why did you come with us? Sexy pose. Yeah, uh, can you go away? Yeah, she's even thinking like, bro, get out of here, my dude. Bye bye All right, first kiss. Yay! Woohoo and Bush? Sure, why not? <laughs> she seems like the type. Get it, girl. Where is this Bush? Okay, it's right here. All right. Cool. Oh boy. Do 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 do. <laughs> Who's this? Huh, don't know you. Hurry up! Hurry up! I just want to capture them coming out. Oh, they got fireworks! Aww, I think they're meant to be. Okay, time to go home. All right, so she's like super smelly. So I'm gonna get Fiona to do that spell she scrubberoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what this is like. Scrubberoo should make her clean. Hopefully, that's what it says. I really want Fiona to have a boyfriend too. So. Okay, she's not smelly anymore, but honestly, it's a little bit underwhelming. That's all right, though. I wish there was like more of like an interaction. So yeah, as I was saying, I kind of want Fiona to have a man as well. So if you guys want to like make me a sim and upload it to the gallery and use the hashtag simsav, um, I'll have a look. I don't want you guys to get like offended or anything if I edit them or like give them different clothes or whatever um because I'm like kind of picky <laughs> but I would be so stoked if you guys put some sims on the gallery for me so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and leave this part right here if you haven't subscribed please do so you don't miss another video and I will see you guys in the next one love you bye